wanted to be a tattoo artist since I was in the seventh grade. I thought it'd be cooler to have your art on someone permanently. So uh, my full-time job, I'm a pastor at Canyon Ridge Christian Church. Uh, I'm a pastor. I'm the pastor of care, local outreach, and global mission. So I cut a pretty wide swath. Uh, I'm also a clinically trained mental health professional. I carry a bunch of licenses and a bunch of letters after my name. Over 40% of Americans have tattoos. People between the ages of 18 and 25 can have anywhere from one to five tattoos. Um, I have five. One, two, three, four, five. More than I can count is <laughs> at least 30. <laughs> yeah, I'm engaged and then I have my nipples pierced. I used to have both my nostrils pierced. Tattoos in America are a form of self-expression and are protected from criminal law by the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Body modifications can include piercings, tattoos, and cosmetic surgery. Part of my tattoo experience was um, the crazier and the harder I looked, the more people would stay away. So I think that you know sometimes we use it as a defense mechanism. Also, um, I think it's sometimes um, we get tattooed to freak people out. A lot of my family don't like them. I get told, like, you're too pretty for those piercings in your face. My grandma says that. Or, like, my palms, like, why would you do that to yourself? Or stuff like that. And I think it's worse when it comes from family. My mom was, my dad, <laughs> my dad was not, but he grew to be okay with it. I had to try and convince them before. So I was 15 when I got my first piercing, but it took me at least a year to convince them and there was no convincing them to get a tattoo before I turned 18. They weren't too happy about that. <laughs> um, I was pretty young when I knew I wanted to get tattoos. But you know, when I was first started getting tattoos, people who had tattoos, it meant you were like a badass. Um, not just means you're over 18. This, I got this tattoo that was one night. I just had this, I got this and it's pretty big and my dad was like, is that thing real? Yeah, dude. Body art can be a part of religious or cultural beliefs such as Hinduism. Tattoos are a way to symbolize an important event in somebody's life. It is not uncommon for trauma victims or those with disabilities or serious illnesses to get tattoos as a way for claiming positive ownership of their bodies. Um, they tell stories. One of my first tattoos, uh, my mom suicided. It was a peace sign little stupid peace sign about that big and so that stupid little peace sign became a pretty important piece um, I had rest in mom put over it so it was rest in peace mom um, that's covered up now but there's that um, I have a phoenix tattooed on my calf uh, this is representative of my life I'm rising from the ashes and only one of my tattoos has meaning my mom's handwriting <laughs> it's just her hand, her saying how much she loves me. <laughs> but that was because it was meaningful, not because I thought it looked cool. The religious beliefs I had to battle with because I was getting tattooed post-salvation, or pre-salvation and now post-salvation, I've also got a lot of work done and a lot of, uh, of the right religiosity. Um, folks say that you know it's against God and then the Bible says you're not supposed to get tattooed and I have to remind them that they're clean shaven and that their wives aren't in head covers either uh, anymore. Society has heavily influenced the way people view tattoos in the workplace. In the past it would be very difficult for people to find jobs but now 73% of employers say they would hire someone with body modifications if it helps their company. I don't think anybody should be denied a job over the way they look. They should be denied a job on the, if they don't meet the qualifications or the capabilities. No. Um, most people these days have t tattoos anyway, and that's discrimination. You're not really supposed to do that. I know some businesses want to uphold a certain image, but people these days have tattoos, like, not that deep. <laughs> I think the stigma is still there in, um, a lot of the populace, but I believe that it's decreased because of the commonplace of it now. Um, I believe that, again, when I was getting tattooed 30 years ago, not a lot of people had tattoos. And now a lot of people have tattoos. So do people have as many tattoos as I do? No. So there's a stigma. I think how we change it is by 
awareness and education. I think anybody who would judge me based on how I look, if they sat down with me for five minutes, would realize that even though the tattoos are a permanent part of me, they're not, they don't make me permanently who I am. I think they make you who you are because they weren't a part of you before. You add them on later. There are 13 countries in which a person can be arrested in or fined for certain illegal religious, political, or racial tattoos. They can reflect who I've been and who I am. They don't delineate whether I'm good or bad. They don't delineate whether I'm educated or not. They just are part of me. Society typically associates people with visible body art as criminals, but Penn State University says that people with body art are some of the kindest people with some of the highest self-esteem. The, the body modification has been beneficial in that because I specialize in families, adolescents, and addictions. Um, so when it, somebody who's been struggling with addictions or a kid, 15, 16 year old kid sits down from the ear stretch tattooed therapist, it helps. People tend to think that uh, I'm uneducated. People tend to think that I'm a criminal um, or that I, I'm still badass. Um, um. For me, it's easier because I do it for a living. It's easier for me to have them and not get discriminated against. I have two tattoos that were supposed to just be silly. And because I work with a lot of teenagers, I dressed pretty casual and I'd often wear shorts. So I wanted to get eyeballs, little eyeballs tattooed on my knees. So I would be looking at the people when I was counseling them, just kind of freak them out. Um, they were supposed to be funny, but my tattoo artist ended up putting huge eyeballs on my knees um, that look at me. And so they actually became probably the most profound spiritual tattoo for me because I believe it was God reminding me to look at myself through his eyes and to look at others through his eyes, not mine. Because I can be judgmental and critical and selfish and also super self-defeating. Um, so when I look at myself through God's eyes, I see a different person. And seeing the way people react to stuff, like meaningful tattoos, that makes me feel really good seeing how happy it makes them. I've even had a client cry. So it's weird because like, so my job as a pastor helps me connect, the tattoos help me connect with people most pastors couldn't approach because they don't look like I do. Be smart about it because it is permanent, tattoos anyway. Piercings, they're temporary. I mean, they leave scars, but tattoos, you have to be pretty smart about them because what you like now, you might not like in 20 years, anything like that. And because you still do, sadly, people still will deny you of a job or anything like that because of it. It's getting more accepted, but getting your hands tattooed and trying to get a job is going to probably not help out. But don't go to scratchers, don't go to houses, not oh hey my homie can do it cheap so I'm gonna go to him because you're gonna pay even more to get it fixed or removed. If you're gonna get tattooed make sure you do it in a shop, a professional shop where stuff's sterilized and clean and they're licensed. Don't have a, don't get a tattoo by the kitchen magician. My favorite tattoo is a portrait of Zelda and because I like Zelda <laughs> it's my favorite. It's really nice. My next one. Mm -hmm. Don't know. You don't know?